Hello everyone, Colin Cadet here for Woodwork Web. I bet you wonder what this contraption is that I'm holding. Well, this is a sizing jig for using a wobble wheel for making different sized dados. And it's an idea that I came up with several weeks ago. So today I'm going to make the prototype of this jig and we'll test it out and see how it works. So follow along with me as I make this little sizing jig. It's important when you're cutting dados to have a nice tight fit. This is too sloppy. The glue won't hold on this one. You need to have a nice snug fit that your wood will fit in so that the glue can help bond. So first of all, let me talk about the challenges of the wobble wheel. Now I have this one set at a half inch. And the problem with wobble wheels is these lines on any that I've seen are quite wide. And I never really know if the half inch is, you know, a little bit to one side or the other, or if it's right in the middle. But regardless of that, the big challenge with wobble wheels is that when you get wood that's not exactly a half inch, and if you look at this plywood, this is called half inch plywood. And if you look at it, you'll see that it's slightly less than half an inch. Now that's what this plywood is supposed to be. It is never supposed to exceed half an inch. So they always make it undersized. So when you're setting the wobble wheel for a half inch, where, how far under do you set it so that it, it, actually fits snugly in that dado and that's what this jig will solve. So first of all for those of you who aren't familiar with a wobble wheel this is what it is. It's basically a dado, a single dado blade and the way it works is the wheel can be offset at different angles and because of that it will you can make variable width dados and you can see how it wobbles. See how it it's, it wobbles back and forth, that's why it's called a wobble wheel. What you're going to need to build this jig is uh, a few bits of scrap plywood, and if you're like me and you save all of these pieces, this is a great way to utilize this. Uh, you're also going to need a 5 8 bolt, and these are not easily found. You're probably going to have to go to an automotive store. Most hardware stores don't stock anything this big, and that's because the 5 8 bolt is the same as the arbor on most table saws and most circular saws as well. You're going to need a couple of washers, a couple of bolts, uh, some miscellaneous screws that I'll talk about later on, and the other thing you're going to need is one of these uh, combination uh, bolts and this one has wood thread on this side and machine thread on the other side. And we'll show you how that works. So let's catch up on where we are here. I've made a base that's 6 inches wide and 12 inches long, maybe a little oversized, but better a little bigger than too small. I've also got a very nice square piece of wood, it's a little more than an inch on each side, and it's going to be my backer because this is going to be my vertical piece, and I'm going to end up gluing it on there. And I need it to be nice. The reason I've got the backer is because we've got this heavy bolt that's going to have to go through here and it's going to have to hold the wheel. So this whole thing needs to be pretty firm on here. But what I need to do right now is to drill a hole in here for the wobble wheel to go through. Or actually Now before we go any further, I just want to make sure that the bolt goes through there. Good. And it's a nice snug fit too. That's good. Now to speed this up a little bit, I'm going to be using my air nailer um, because I want to try and get this done a little quicker for all of us. And, okay.
Now the next thing we need to do, because the uh, washers and the nuts are what are going to hold our bolt on here, so what I need to do now is to cut the head off of this. Okay, let's put that bolt through. There we go. Okay, now it's time to make the arms, and these are exactly 10 inches long. Now, what I want to do, I need to put a little bump out. And I need to leave room for the pencil to go in there. And I'm going to go just like that. And one on the opposite side. Okay, so I drilled a hole and I decided the best way to cut these would be to cut them both at the same time. So while I have these clamped together, I'm just going to take a moment to clean up those marks. Four and three quarters inches. So I'm going to go away and cut a piece of wood that'll fit in here that this will then be able to mount into. Now I think the first thing I want to do is to mount this screw in here and there we go. Now what I'm going to do is drill a couple of holes in there and then we'll fasten that from underneath. Okay, I went to the drill press and I just made a, a washer to get that blade to stand off a bit. Well, I have no idea if this is going to work, but we're going to try it. So there's a piece of wood and that was, uh, you saw it earlier, it was not quite a half inch. So we use this to measure that. Then we take our blade and we should be able to adjust Well, that's clearly not close. Um, I don't know how that would have moved so much. That's a lot to have moved. Let's try this back again. Well, I'm finding this is a bit more fiddly than I expected. So I've made an adaption. I was finding that when I was moving the wheel back and forth that it tends to want to move back and forth on this uh, arbor here. So I've just put another block in here and I'm just holding it in with a, uh, a clamp. Okay, let's try this again here. Ooh, that looks, that looks like that might work right there. 
Yeah, maybe a little skinny, but let's take that out and try that. Okay, put the wobble wheel back in. And there was our first test piece. Let's um, go along to the next slot there and we'll run that through. And it's still the same height. All right, let's try that. There, that's better. It's maybe even a bit snug, but I'd rather have it snug than loose. So, yeah, that's great. That works. A little bit of sanding uh, on this part here, and that would fit right in there just perfect. Very good. Well, and that's concludes my video on making the wobble wheel sizing jig. You know, it, I'm not 100% happy with it. It obviously works. We got the first time it didn't work. Um, but what I found out is that you, you really have to be pretty accurate with this thing. And the way this moves around, um, there might be a better, maybe one of you have got a better idea. You can uh, let us all know, maybe, maybe even make, if you're making this, maybe you'll have a different uh, methodology. I'd love to see some pictures of some other people's ideas on this now that I've got the ball rolling. So anyway, that's, uh, that's it for the wobble wheel sizing jig. I'm Colin Knapp for Woodwork Web. If you haven't already subscribed, we ask you to do that. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, uh, and I'm on Instagram now, and I'm, I'm getting better and better at it. So uh, make sure you stay tuned because I got lots more videos coming.